Hey guys, Amp here bringing you a new tutorial series, and this is going to be Affinity on iPad. Uh, and uh, this is what you come up with when you uh, open up the app. Uh, I'm running it on an iPad Air 2, but uh, in this video we're going to go over the interactive introduction. So, it's going to load for a second, and bring us up this. So as we see, uh, certain effects here, using all the touch screen and stuff, so we can control right now, ooh, look at that, so I can, I can adjust and even type in what I want, so let's see, 100, and then I can even decrease the radius, let's do 50, Wow, look at that. That's that's super cool. So we're basically affecting the background right now. Oh, so this is uh, using uh, a dynamic light tool, which uh, we have a tutorial for on the regular Affinity Workshop. This is, this is cool. Whoa. So we can increase and decrease the radius of the light. Oh, we can... Uh, Say we want to go up to 75. We can move all these points. We can even change the color. Let's try a little... I want to see more orange light. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, can we even see a split view? They even have that in here. Wow. Look at that. I'm really digging this. Wow. We can change ambient... Wow. So it looks like if we hover over with our finger, we can zoom in and get a, a better view of everything. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. So let's continue. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. We're going to be able to uh, in-paint here. So, uh... Look at that, we can change our stroke, blend mode, let's just go normal and hit OK. Let's paint over that boat. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm really, I'm really digging this over, look at that, perfect. See if we want to get rid of a little bit of this boat's tr- I am, I am just mesmerized by this, wow. This is, this is just crazy. So, uh, so I see. So, we can just undo. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoa. That was odd. Let's just continue. Uh -huh, so now we see, uh, we can change the sun. Wow. Look at that. That is so cool. So it looks like we're changing the uh, blurriness around for where the sun is. Wow. So let's see. We can uh, increase the radius. Oh, so this is changing the units. So let's see if we can increase it to 75. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. So it looks like, oh, wow, we're warping here. That's pretty cool. So let's try to warp. Oh wow, so looks like we got a little bit of that. That's that's pretty cool. So let's continue. Oh, it looks like uh we're gonna be able to change the hue. Let's go to fifty. Oh wow. So let's uh Let's up the saturation to 50. Looks like we can uh, slide for things. We can change all of these. Let's go to 50 for there. Wow. Interesting. Okay, let's go to the next. Oh, this is a... Uh, 
We can change the uh, blurriness and focus. Looks like. Uh, yep, yep. We have a tutorial on the actual affinity page for this, too. Man, it's such amazing power coming from such a small device. Wow. It's actually, it, it is, it is, in, this is insane. And, like, I never would have thought that an iPad would be able to do something like that in the palm of your hand. Wow. Let's see what we're going to do. Oh, we're selecting here. So it refines your selfie. It refines your selection. Oh, oh. So you just kind of go around selecting everything. Like that. Okay. And you can, looks like you can come over here, refine selection, kind of just go over her hair, and it will refine the selection again. Wow. Looks like it's taken a little bit. I mean, obviously it's not going to be as fast as a uh, computer here, but uh, it's, it's amazing me sort of, uh, power that is just in this such small device. Yeah, look at that, look at that, wow. So that was, uh, the Affinity, uh, interactive introduction. Um, we'll be obviously going over some, uh, tutorial samples and, uh, a lot more videos. But, uh, thanks for watching the first video. I'm really excited that I finally got the iPad to work. It wasn't recording for a while, so I had to put this off for a bit. Um... For some reason, it wouldn't connect to the computer, uh, but uh, that seems to be fixed now. Um, there's obviously a little lag in Affinity Photo for iPad. It's not obviously as powerful as a computer. I don't know, personally, if it's in the newer iPad, the iPad Pro. Uh, obviously, it would probably be less than that, faster chips and all. Uh, I am running it on the lowest iPad you could run it on. I'm running on an iPad Air 2. So, uh, I'm going to see about getting either a newer iPad or something like that, but that was really fun. Uh, a lot of the things were things that you can do with Affinity Photo uh, on the computer, and I just thought that was just so much fun to play around with. Um, I'm using a stylus, so uh, I can get that precision, but uh, you could definitely use your finger and uh, really take full advantage of the touchscreen, but um, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Like the video if you liked it, and uh, see you in the next one.